He revolutionized the field of medicine. He managed to make a discovery that not only contributed to scientific progress, but also saved millions of lives worldwide. His dedication and spirit of a pioneer have left an indelible mark on the development of our world. Welcome to Personality Matters. I am Arthur Kemps, and today we will be talking about Carol Landsteiner, the scientist who discovered blood groups and blood transfusion. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. At the dawn of his career, Landsteiner pursued his interest in the emerging field of immunology, and in 1901 he published his discovery of the human blood group system. Back then, it was already known that the mixing of blood from two individuals could lead to clumping or agglutination of red blood cells. But the underlying cause of this phenomenon remained a mystery. Landsteiner's discovery revealed that the cause of agglutination is immunological reaction that is triggered when antibodies are produced by the host against donated blood cells. This immune response may occur because different individuals may have varying antigens on the surface of their red blood cells. As a result, when a person with one blood type receives blood from an individual with a different blood type, the immune system recognizes the foreign antigens on the donated blood cells as a threat. To protect the body, the immune system generates antibodies against these antigens, which results in agglutination as the antibodies bind to the specific antigens on the red blood cells. When a person with one blood type, for example A, receives blood from an individual with a different blood type, let's say B, the recipient's immune system fails to recognize the B antigens on the donor blood cells. As a result, the immune system perceives these antigens as foreign and potentially harmful, similar to how it would react to an infectious microorganism. Landsteiner's research enabled the identification of blood types, which ultimately facilitated the safe implementation of blood transfusions. Later, in 1940, together with another scientist, Alexander Wiener, Landsteiner discovered the RH blood group system. The RH blood group system is a way of categorizing blood based on the presence or absence of the substance called the RH antigen. The RH antigen is also known as the rhesus factor and was named after rhesus monkeys, which were used in the initial test to detect this antigen in human blood. Within the system, different types of RH antigens have been identified, with the most common and important one being RHD. If someone lacks the RH antigen, RH negative, and receives RH positive blood during a transfusion, their immune system can produce antibodies against the RH antigen. This can cause the red blood cells to clump together and be destroyed, leading to serious illness or even death. Okay, today we've shared with you a story of the amazing scientist whose discoveries impacted the world. Thank you for watching Personality Matters. We talk about people who made the world. Until next time, I'm Arthur Kemps.